Hey boys and girls, it's Coach Dan with your at-home workout. These at-home workouts can be done anywhere. They can be done outside, in your driveway, on your back porch, or in your house, as long as mom and dad say it's okay. For these workouts, you're gonna need a soccer ball, four cones, and some water to stay hydrated. And if you don't have four cones, don't worry about it. You can use four objects around the house. Grab some winter hats and gloves and use those instead. Or use four of your favorite stuffed animals instead. Whatever objects you're gonna use, we're gonna make in a square that's about three big steps on each side. One, two, three big steps. Let's start today's workout with a review of some of the things we've worked on previously. Let's start with a warm up. Watch quickly, then keep up with Coach Dan. We're gonna soccer box. Remember, feet are shoulders width, we're on our toes, knees are bent, using the inside of our big toes to bat that ball back and forth. And for those of us who are really comfortable with the ball, we'll try and do that looking up instead of looking down. Look down every now and then to look at the ball, but try to trust your touch as we soccer box with both feet. Now we're gonna try our toe taps. Remember, we're gonna use the sole of our foot to tap this ball, making sure our opposite hand is up and we change feet each time. It's a little tap where the ball doesn't move much, but it's a big bounce off this ground to make sure we can get this tap. 10 more, five more, and relax. Let's level up our toe taps with some toe taps around the world. We're gonna do our toe taps in a circle. And once we get stopped to the beginning, we change directions and go back the other way. Let's go three more times. One more time, gang. Great, and relax. Now we're gonna practice our forward roll, just like toe taps, but this time we move fast, rolling that ball inch by inch at a diagonal. Then we'll change directions and go back the other way. Let's go one more time down and back. Notice I'm taking little touches with the sole of my foot. Inching this ball one tap at a time. Catch our breath. Now we're gonna do the same pattern diagonal, but with backwards taps. Get a little head check at, as you go. Make sure we know where we're going and then we can change directions. Little taps each time. We might mess up, but we clean it up each time. One more time down and back. Last time. And relax. Now we're gonna try our pop, pop, pops with the top, top, tops. Knees up, toes down. Pop to a cone, then pop to another cone, then pop to another cone, and pop to another cone. And we're gonna do that one more time around. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop with both feet. Pop, 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 pop with both feet. Pop, 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 pop. And catch our breath. If you need a sip of water, press pause, then come right back. Otherwise, let's move on to the next activity. Now we're gonna use our inside-outside touches with our favorite foot, staying in place, inside-outside, inside-outside, just like so. Look down at the ball if you need to. Look up and forward if you can. But inside and outside touches, just like so. Making sure we're getting little touches. Five more, three, 
two, and one, and relax. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing, but with our second favorite foot. Outside and inside touches, just like so. Quick little touches, stepping next to the ball with our other foot each time. Just getting these touches, just like so. Might be tricky since it's our second favorite foot, but we still have to practice it. Five more, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now we're gonna practice our fast feet where we combine those outside inside touches with both feet. Outside inside, change feet. Outside inside, change feet. And we make our bodies low and springy. Our outside touch is a little bit bigger to spring out. And it's almost like we're doing little zigzags with the each foot. Outside inside, change feet. Outside, inside, change feet. Body low and springy. Keep working, five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, let's get going with some pull pops. Remember, we're gonna pull that ball back, pop it forward, alternating feet. We pull it, we pop it, our feet don't stop it. Make sure we get a little skip. My placement foot will bounce back with each little pop and I have a little pep in my step as I pull it and pop it. Let's go five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Catch your breath. If you need a sip of water, press pause, then come right back. Otherwise, let's move on to the next activity. Now we're gonna try our double foot sole roll. Go ahead, use the sole of your foot, grip one side of the ball, roll it to the other, then grip that ball, roll it to the other, and let's roll it back just like so. Make sure you grip that ball and really drag it across your body, changing feet with that double sole roll. Let's go 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Now we're gonna try our sideways roll. Grip that ball with the sole of your foot, roll it across your body and tap it with a touch, then repeat. Roll, tap, roll, tap. Now we're gonna go back the other way. Roll, tap, roll, tap, roll, tap. Now we're gonna go back the other way. Roll, tap, roll, tap, roll, tap. Roll, tap, I'm getting a little step as I go. Roll, tap, roll, tap, roll, tap. Let's go one more time, boys and girls. Roll, tap, roll, tap, roll, tap, roll, tap, and stop. Let's try that L pull now. Grip that ball with that sole of your foot, pull it back and touch it behind your place, placement leg in the shape of a letter L. Make sure it's with that sole that you pull it back and it's an inside the foot touch in the shape of a letter L. And now we get into a little rhythm to see how many little L touches we can get in this. Let's go 10 more. There's one, there's two. We're gonna pop in our step. There's three, there's four, there's five, there's six, there's seven, there's eight. Alternating feet where it's left, left, 
then right, right, left, left, right, right, keep working, opening our hips in this rhythm, 10 more seconds, that's it, pull it and push it, pull it and push it, Whoa. pull it and push it, pull it and push it, five more, that's it, three more, one more, and relax. If you need a sip of water, press pause, then come right back. Otherwise, let's move on to the next activity. Each time we're gonna introduce an exercise, I will show it, we'll practice it, and then I'm gonna test you to see how many you can get in 30 seconds. As we get through the workout and you get tired, press pause, get a sip of water, if one of the exercises is too tough and you want to try it again, go ahead, press pause, rewind, and try it one more time. Let's try some Brazilian toe taps. They're like regular toe taps with a little more flavor. Watch here. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And there's just a little pep in our step as we get this going with our Brazilian toe taps. Your turn. Brazilian toe taps you can get in 30 seconds. Each time you tap the ball counts as one. So there's one, two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and nine, 10, 11, 12. Each time we get a little tap, we count and we gotta see how many we can get in 30 seconds. Here we go. Ready, set. Go! 30 seconds. That's it, keep going. 20 seconds left. Keep it up. 10 seconds left. Five. Four, three, two, one, time. Take a moment and let's catch our breath. What was your score that round? Do you think you can break your record? I do. Let's try it one more time. Ready, set, go. 30 seconds. That's it, keep going. 20 seconds left, keep it up. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, time. How many did you get that round? Did you break your record? Whether you did or didn't, keep working hard and keep practicing. That's how we improve. If you need a sip of water, press pause, then come right back. Otherwise, let's move on to the next activity. Let's work on the step over. We're gonna break it down piece by piece and it starts with this. I have my body kind of low next to that ball. I'm gonna lead with my outside foot and I'm gonna step over it like I'm gonna kick it, but then step out and come to the other side of the ball. Ready? Step over, step out, step over, step out, step over, step out, and my body is low just like it was on one side of the ball to the next. Swing over like you're gonna kick it, swing over like you're gonna kick it, and we just transfer sides to the opposite side of the ball. Let's see if you can do these step overs.
Let's see how many step overs you can get in 30 seconds. Looks just like this. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. For this to count, both feet have got to get over and planted. So it's not just like this. I've got to get both feet over to the other side of the ball. Ready? It looks like this. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five. Two steps with each move. 30 seconds. Let's see it. Ready, set, go! 30 seconds. That's it. Keep going. 20 seconds left. Keep it up. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Take a moment and let's catch our breath. What was your score that round? Do you think you can break your record? I do. Let's try it one more time. Ready, set, go! 30 seconds. That's it, keep going. 20 seconds left. Keep it up. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, time. How many did you get that round? Did you break your record? Whether you did or didn't, keep working hard and keep practicing. That's how we improve. If you need a sip of water, press pause then come right back. Otherwise, let's move on to the next activity. Now we're gonna add something to our step over. After we step over and step out, using the outside of your nearest foot, cut the ball to the other side. Ready, watch again. Step over, step out, cut. 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 And if we went out of room, we can turn around and go back the other way. Step over, step out, cut. Step over, step out, cut. Step over, step out, cut. Just like this. And then when it's time to come back the other way, we'll do that one more time. Step over, step out, cut. Let's practice. change directions and go the other way. There's four, there's five, there's six. Come back the other way. Seven, eight, nine. Let's see how many trace cuts you can get. Ready, set, go. 30 seconds. That's it, keep going. 20 seconds left, keep it up. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Take a moment and let's catch our breath. What was your score that round? Do you think you can break your record? I do. Let's try it one more time. Ready, set, go! 
30 seconds. That's it. Keep going. 20 seconds left. Keep it up. seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, time. How many did you get that round? Did you break your record? Whether you did or didn't, keep working hard and keep practicing. That's how we improve. If you need a sip of water, press pause, then come right back. Otherwise, let's move on to the next activity. Now we're gonna add one more piece to this puzzle. After I step over, step out, and cut, now I'm gonna chop it back in and finish off that run. Ready, watch again. Step over, step out, cut, chop. Coming back with the opposite foot. Step over, step out, cut, chop. Always cutting and chopping with the foot closest to the ball. Step over, step out, cut, chop. Let's see if you can try it. Now let's see how many full step over moves you can get in 30 seconds. Step over, step out, cut and chop. Step over, step out, cut, chop, there's one. Step over, step out, cut, chop, there's two. Step over, step out, cut, chop, there's three. 30 seconds, let's see how many you can get. Ready, set, go! 30 seconds. That's it, keep going. 20 seconds left, keep it up. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Take a moment and let's catch our breath. What was your score that round? Do you think you can break your record? I do. Let's try it one more time. Ready, set, go! 30 seconds. That's it, keep going. 20 seconds left. Keep it up. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, time. How many did you get that round? Did you break your record? Whether you did or didn't, keep working hard and keep practicing. That's how we improve. If you need a sip of water, press pause, then come right back. Otherwise, let's move on to the next activity. Go ahead, pick up a corner, bring it to the middle, make this nice little triangle shape that we've worked with before. And now we're going to dribble from one corner to the next and perform that step over before we get to that middle cone. Take a little touch to get you going. Step over, step out, cut, chop. And we can go a little bit faster each time. Step over, step out, cut, chop. Change directions, coming back the other way. Maybe we'll try the opposite foot this time. Step over, step out, cut, chop. But see if you can make it game-like as we're practicing this. Make it look like we're gonna go one way and go the other. Make it look like you're gonna kick that ball and then we touch and go the opposite way. Your turn.
Now we're gonna see how many we can get in 30 seconds using both feet. I'm gonna do my step over turn here. There's one, but coming back, I've gotta go with the opposite foot. Step over, step out, cut, chop, there's two. Step over, step out, cut, chop, there's three. You have 30 seconds, see how many you can get. Ready, set, go! 30 seconds. That's it, keep going. 20 seconds left. Keep it up. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Take a moment and let's catch our breath. What was your score that round? Do you think you can break your record? I do. Let's try it one more time. Ready, set, go! 30 seconds. That's it, keep going. 20 seconds left. Keep it up. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, time. How many did you get that round? Did you break your record? Whether you did or didn't, keep working hard and keep practicing. That's how we improve. Nice work, boys and girls. Hope you enjoyed that workout. If you did, try it again. Try to break your scores from this last round, but also check out some of our other videos too to learn some new skills. Because these workout videos, practicing on your own, trying your best, that's how we become better soccer players. See you next time.